before we begin, I want to tell you about our daily newsletter. Be sure to sign up to get the latest in construction news. My name is David Peterson and I'm the market professional for cold planers here at Caterpillar Paving Products. So what we're going to be talking about today is our PM622. The PM622 is a 600 horsepower machine, actually 630, powered by a, a C18 engine. The 2.2 stands for 2.2 meter rotor, so in the U.S. it's 88 inches. 79, 88, and 98 are the rotor widths we do make. So, one of the big things we changed on this machine is we took this front panel that used to jut out a little bit. We recessed it in so it doesn't impede the sight line from the operator to steer this machine because once I turn that rotor on, it doesn't care. Whatever I point it at, it's going to chew it up. So it's a very important part. Right below this front panel, we've added something called our recessed lighting, our under canopy lighting. So at night, these machines have to work a lot at night, a lot. Uh, for, for various different reasons, but one of the big things is they're more productive and we don't impede traffic flow, right? It sits like on a cloud of light, so that's a big thing. So at night, you're not, you don't have to look directly at that light because you get that blind spot. When, when I look directly at a light and turn away, I'm temporarily blinded. So one of the other things we did underneath here, this is what we call our water distribution panel. If you look way underneath here, you see those red handles, right? They're now easy to turn on and off, okay? That, what that does is distribute the water on the machine where I need it. So very easy to turn now. They weren't so easy before, okay? The other thing, our, our interface between the lower conveyor and our cutter box, right? We did have some leakage there. So that's where the, the rotor takes the material, throws it on the belt, and then up the upper conveyor. So we really totally redesigned that so it's a better seal. The other thing, this inboard ski apparatus, we put a new wear strip on here and that whole apparatus has changed. It used to be round and it used to jiggle. We need it to stay in the same spot. You notice the big hole there. That used to be a solid piece of metal. Well, now that material is able to fall through there and not collect on it. That's a big deal, okay? Pretty, pretty important. So again, under here, we talked about the recessed lighting. Here's another piece of that. One thing about a milling machine is we have to be able to service it. So although this is not new, I did want to point it out because you're going to have to get at the engine. This is our C18 again, like I stated before, a C18 twin turbo. So you got to be able to get at it. So air cleaners, hydraulic filters, all those different things are right there. All right, stepping back here, another part of the lighting. Right, so we can see the rotor chamber at night. Very, very easy to do. This is our leg lock, totally redesigned leg lock. This little apparatus here is put underneath between this leg. This little short one here is just for the show. This is not a real one. This is the real one. Because this machine goes way up in the air, I put that underneath there so for safety reasons. So we always think in safety here at Caterpillar. Very, very important. We've got storage compartments, as you can see. So. We can now take our grade control and put that right in there. We don't have to disconnect it. And I'll show you that a little better on the other side. Here's our redesigned rear, rear storage compartment. You notice this seal. We never put that on the first one and it was getting a lot of water intrusion, right? So all those things we store back here are grade control boxes, teeth boxes, uh, high pressure wands, air tools. Uh, we're getting wet and causing corrosion and then they wouldn't work quite well. So when you close it, I don't know if you can capture that on tape. You can see, it sounds solid, right? That's what we want. This is our grade control box. So I have a mount here. I can take this thing and easily move it around. Now I can't do it here for the show because I got it kind of tangled up, but uh, it's very easy. You just pop it in, put it where you want to. Why do I want to do that? Well, if I'm going against a building or out in traffic, anything like that, I can take it and move it around. Simple, simple, simple. Now we're gonna go up top. This light right here, that's our water level indicator. You notice we still have the plugs in the top and the bottom, but what used to be there was a plastic tube. Well, water in a plastic tube, what happens? It gets nasty, I can't see through it. Now this water level indicator, the water truck is driving by, he's gonna be able to see right away if this machine needs water. This has a, approximately a 1,000 gallon water tank. 
and I need water to cool the bits and for dust suppression. So, one of the other things I want to show you is our ingress to the gate. It's just enough pressure on it to hold it, but as we come in, not spring-loaded. It doesn't hit you where you don't want to be hit. Okay, you'll notice right here too, our floor mat. This is new. I have to stand on this machine 14, 16, 18 hours a day. So it really helps with your joints, your knees, your ankles, less fatigue on the body, right? Because these operators need to stay alert and sharp. So come on aboard. I want to show you our displays. Number one, side to side, okay? If I'm over here, I can put it over here. If I'm over here, I can put it over here. Not everybody's the same size, so they are adjustable. Push it in. And they used to be our old ones. This is new on the O2C model. I can open this up now. Excuse me. Ah, there we go. Pull this lever. Boom. Done. Safe and secure for the night. I don't have to connect it, reconnect it. It's always there. This is where all the business is done. Like I said, both panels are live at the same time because the mill operator will walk from side to side, side to side. Because like I said before, once I turn that rotor on, it does not care. It's going to eat what I pointed at. So these, again, not everybody's the same size. I got a little bit of an angle that I can put on it if I prefer. Some people like them straight, but I can move it that way. I can move it up or down, short or tall. Okay, And I can also slide it in or out. Okay, so that's really a nice feature. We added a foot rest here for your foot. Seems like a little thing, but talk to an operator, it's a big thing. A little less fatigue on that leg, right? We put some nice pads here for your hip, for your arm. Very nice, so you can just cozy up in here and run your mill, okay? The other thing, if you prefer, I have a seat here. So all I have to do, it's here. Do you run a mill sitting down? Sometimes, but 99% no, but nice to sit down. And if I do want to run it, all I got to do is pull it. I can sit down, adjust my console, and I'm off. Are you going to do this when you're cutting along curb or in a cul-de-sac? No, but on a roadway, if I'm going straight, perfect, right? So that's our new features on our BMO2C model. So if you want more information, Get a hold of one of our cat dealers. They're everywhere and we have the best dealer network in the world. Thank you. For more videos like this, click the playlist on the screen now.